Good morning, replayers. I am so glad you're here. I am working on my camera. Um, as you can see, I am backwards or upside down. So I'm trying to see if I can get it all figured out. But I'm so glad you chose to spend some time with me. If you want to do this with me, you're going to need a scissors, some type of thread, embroidery floss, whatever you've got is going to be wonderful. Um, I'm looking to see where I'm at. I guess this is the way I need to go. We'll see. Um, you're going to maybe want some buttons. I have some bows. Little bows. You know, tiny bows. There we go. Got tiny bows, as you can see. Um, I have buttons. I have beads. And just a variety of beads I keep here on my desk. I have some ribbons and trims and the laces. I have some embroidery ribbon. I guess that's what you call it. Crocheted ribbon. You know, whatever this is. Um, I have some of these little different colored of... Um, rosettes. If you want some of those. I have some of these little flowers that were given to me in a happy mail. And that's about it. Um, narrow. You're going to want things that are narrow that will fit on your paper clip. Now I am going to do a little haul video here to start with, and we're not going to make lots and lots of these, so don't worry. The bigger the paper clip, I think the better. So I'm going to get rid of some of these, and I'm also going to use safety pins. I thought that might be kind of fun. Um, did I get my laundry pins out? Got some laundry safety pins too. And if you want charms, Good morning, Leah. Welcome, welcome. I was just telling the replayers what all they were going to need today. We're going to embroider some, or slow stitch, I should say, some um, paper clips. And they're going to need a few items if they want to come along with me as I go along. How you been? Doing good? Our weather's been absolutely gorgeous. My desk couldn't keep getting any smaller, I don't think. So, replayers, those are some of the things that you're going to need this morning. You want to do this with us. And I would love that. And who knows what else I'll pull out. Trying to get so I have a little bit of room to work. I've been slow stitching some of my clusters this morning 
putting buttons and things like that on it. I think I'll go ahead and do one with the bead. Good morning, Gail. How are you? How's your dad? Can you hear me okay? There, I typed it in, the can you hear me? Make sure I don't have anything muted. It doesn't look like I do, so it should be fine. Dad's a bit of a... <laughs> oh, bless his heart. Okay, good. You can hear fine. Awesome. I am, I decided I made, you know, the little paper clips with the flags and you know, these things all kinds of times. And I've always, you know, just glued them. And I thought, you know, it'd be fun to slow stitch these. So that's what I'm going to do today. Now, you can always, you know, make them with the flags on top. But um, I thought we could just make these and visit. How's that? Bless his heart. I know when he's in pain, it's hard sometimes to deal with them. I know, I know. Yesterday, I had the kids quite a bit. And then I ended up needing groceries. So I took Emerson to dance because it's in Keokuk, Iowa. And... That's where we like to get our groceries because there's an Aldi's and a um, Walmart there. Plus, they don't charge tax. Hi, Marty. Welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. And they don't charge tax on their groceries. So, um, I took her and when... I totally forgot what I was going to say. Anyway, I took her and that was kind of fun, but I didn't get done all the things here at home I wanted to get done, but I did get to go to Dollar Tree. And I just, I didn't spend $10. So, you know, it wasn't a big one. I want to start a mermaid journal and they had this. And I thought that would be something fun. Oh, I bet, Gail. Oh, I bet. Um, I'd let her, would we, next summer, paint this on a day she's in the mood. And then I found these two little journals. They're sewn in. And so I thought I'd take them out, and then I've got a full writing page. So I'll paint them up for Distressed Ink, uh, um, these, or I'll make them into a um, fall journal. This I thought would be fun in a fall journal, because October is Breast Awareness Month. And so I picked those up for a dollar. Then they had these, and I thought these were really fun. They, to me, look Tim Holtzy. Oh, that's true, Marty. And you can't make it go away. I know that's hard. Bless your heart, Gail. So hard. I found these are little, they're stickies, but they look like little metal pieces. Like this one says enjoy and coffee. 
tees. I just thought they were darling. And then this one has all the little sewing stuff on it. And this has, uh, bless you, miss you. You are the best. Uh, make today amazing. And then this one just is kind of a homey one. Sweet home. Family. But I thought these were just really fun little stickers. Thanks, Marty. So I thought sometime I'd use those. Um, I need to get started on my sister's um, sewing journal. She's coming next week, and we're going to do a bunch of sewing. She's going to spend, I think, three days. It's about a six, seven-hour trip. And um, so I'd kind of like to get that journal done but i don't know if i'm going to because thursday we've got close friends of ours from florida are going to be coming in they've been doing a lot of traveling out west and up in alaska in their motor home and then they're going to come by and see the farm and see us and stuff on their way back so Thank you, Marty. Yes, Leah, that's a good idea. Maybe that would help. Now, does he have any other caregiver but you, Gail? Because at his age, it's great that he's able to live at home alone. Anyway, anyway, I'm going to work on my paper clips. Now, when you do this, you want this side that's on the outside up so that... It will stick right on your, wait, am I right? Yeah. Or do I do it this way? See, every time I do this, I got to remember my brain. Yeah. So we're going to do it right here. This is where we're going to decorate. And I will probably have to check every time I do it. Oh, that makes it hard. But I'm glad he's able to live alone. That has to be comforting. Okay. Just double checked and I hadn't forgotten what I was doing. So we're going to stick it down on there. And then I thought I'd stick maybe some of these pearls on it. Make kind of maybe a neutral color. That would be pretty, wouldn't it? Here, let's do the flimsy one more on top. Oh, and that makes it so hard because it sounds like his brain's pretty good. His mind's pretty good. And then I'm going to stick this pretty little flower there. And then I think you can get too much on here. Uh, 
think I'll sew these and then, um, yeah, they do look flimsy. I'm going to have to get something with some substance on there. I'm wanting to, oh, good, Gail. My girlfriend here, her mother isn't. She's very physically great, but she's not, um, she's got dementia, and they're trying to keep her as home as long as they're able, but they just don't know how long that's going to be, but she's kind of like you, Gail, checks in every day, and her mom calls her several times a day. I was glad to see her sister-in-law, who's 94, took them both to Jackson's football game Saturday. And it was good to see her out and about, but my husband and I were talking. We weren't sure that was the safest way the two got there. And the way the daughter of her sister-in-law acted, they were kind of surprised to see him there, too. That needle just doesn't look like it's made right. I'm going to get a different one. Oh, Marty, I'm sorry to hear that. Is she still at home? That's true, Gail, but you're still babies to him. Let's see what I can get that might be a little sturdier. Let's get this pretty fabric. Greg and I have talked many times how fortunate we were that we have not had to go through that with any of our parents. His um, dad died very young at 53, I think, with ALS. And um, his mom had a stroke here and never came out of it. My dad died a few years ago of kidney failure and old age easiest way to put it and um, then my mom still living on her own in Texas and at 88 so unless mom you know has some issues Yes, it, it was very tough, but his went very quickly. He um, had symptoms coming down to our wedding reception in Illinois in September and passed away in May. So, um, but my mom's mind is good you know easily able to live on her own and plus she's already planned that she can't live alone she's going to the nursing home and has already got um that all taken care of so um because she sure isn't living with any of us she says so you know what you all go through, I can just empathize. Oh, yes, it is, Gail. It is. Okay, so I've got those sewn together so they're not going to fall off. And then I'm going to see if this still works. Okay, y'all. 
why is it not wanting to go on? Let me double check something. I've only made a thousand of these. But, you know, when you're talking and doing it, because I did it backwards. Uh -huh. Yep, that's what happens when you're talking and you're doing it. See, that? that's my mom. And so, you know, you got to, at first we fought her staying down there by herself after dad died. But then we decided, you know, do it her way. Okay, you know me, Marty. My brain's backwards. Well, let's get a different one. We're not going to battle that. We'll battle that when y'all aren't watching. I get nervous when y'all are watching, and then I can't remember what I'm doing. So are y'all having decent weather and all that good stuff? See, I'm looking. Okay, goes like this. Let's do her again. <laughs> oh, that's really sweet, Marty. Oh, you're getting rain. So far, we're not. I don't know. We may later. My daughter-in-law just always jokes she's going to throw me in the basement. And when she remembers, she'll throw me a crust of bread. You raised him right, Marty. Oh. Yeah, we're probably too far south for that. Here in Spanish, perhaps. I don't know that I would want to live with my kids either. When you think about it, you know, that's not easy either. Now, Emerson says she's going to live in this house so that I can babysit. And she said, if I'm dead, her mom and dad will have to just babysit. Because she said, Nana, that's really handy that you're just right here and can babysit when we need you to. Coming home and going to dance last night, she was a jabber and a mile a minute. She, I couldn't tell you a thing she said, but she has lots to jabber about. Does that usually make it colder, those lake effects? See, that's me, Gail. Yeah, I love my daughter-in-law, but I don't think I want to 
live with them. Though my girlfriend and I, we have decided that we're just going to rent a little cottage and take care of each other. And her daughter said, that's fine and dandy with her. Just leave her alone. She said she'll check on us. Oh, really? You have a lazy thumb, Marty? There we go. Not pretty. I like these. Let's try a safety pin. That'll be much easier. I'd choose mine, that's for sure. I don't want any other one. She's a very good mama. She's a great wife to my son. Yeah, I can't imagine anybody different. And maybe I'd want to live with my grandchildren. I don't know. Emerson and I get along now, but who knows what that'll be like um, 20 years from now. Now, Lizzie, I like her arrangement. Her son and his family moved in with them. I thought that was a neat way of doing it instead of her and Papa having to move, they did the moving. Oh, isn't that the truth, Marty? I read. Oh, don't you, though? And she's so excited about it. So excited. So I, I, I hope it works out as well. And as you can see, if you're a replayer, I, I'm just fiddling with these. I, um, to me, this is relaxing. <clears throat> it's peaceful. I could do this for hours. Yeah, I would hate to think they got all disappointed after being, you know, so excited about it all. Got to put some little, some beads on here. I'm really looking forward to the company, though I'm not looking forward to having to find the bed up here because that's where all my fabric is. Oh, really? See, I didn't know. that had happened before. Oh, well, I hope this will then for sure. Because that would be disappointing if it, you know, they've tried twice and it didn't work.
Yeah, it is because it 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 it, it is hard. Um, you got to decide who's queen of the castle. I'm glad she's feeling good now and doing the cooking and all of that. So um, if it at least lasts long enough for the house to be built and all that for her daughter to move next door, sometimes that will help too. But, and maybe a daughter-in-law will be different than a daughter. Who knows? But I just really hope it works out for him. And I think bringing life in of the two little girls will brighten their days as well. Yeah, wouldn't it, though? I guess that's why people have mother-in-law um, houses for that reason. Let's do a black and white one. Yes, you do. And by having her everything in the bedroom there that's the part that worries me but you know to each their own i'm gonna try this black and white one and see how that works so you get to hear some fabric i thought that would be pretty the polka dotted on the other My dad would definitely want, had wanted, would have wanted it all his way. There would have been no discussion, no nothing. I'm going to do this and then I'll go back to another safety pin and then I'll go back and forth. So we'll put this little white. I love this little crocheted on here. Adds a little pretty to it. And... A little clear button. You sure do, Leah. We don't have enough bathrooms. Thanks, Marty. We don't have enough bathrooms for two women to live in this house. It's great if there's company, but... Oh, really, Leah? How's that going? Got an expert here. And I don't know if it'd be easier or harder with the daughter rather than a daughter-in-law. I would think with a daughter because you've lived together in the past, but I don't know that. I know, Marty, you're doing good. Tell my needle came out, but considering I was doing my last little knot anyway, well, we can handle that. Yeah, I think it would be too, Leah.
I remember graduating from college in December. And fortunately, I got a job in um, December, in January. But my mom said, we'll, we'll pay for, you know, help you pay for a apartment if you need to sub or, you know, just get a part-time job or, you know, whatever, if you can't find anything, but you're not living here. But that'll be hard when they leave. Oh, 16 hours. That's hard, Leah. That's what we have. And that's very difficult. Yeah, I have to look at these every time, y'all. Too bossy. Yeah, I don't know how my daughter-in-law and I would do for the simple fact. My craft room would drive her nuts. It drives her nuts and she doesn't even live with this. Well, we lived with my mother-in-law while we built the house. From April until um, September. And no, that wasn't easy. Because I never felt, I felt like company all the time. And I'm not blaming her for that at all. Um. But I was a neat freak. I wanted my house immaculate. And, and she didn't. But yet I didn't feel like I could just clean her house. Yeah, across the country is hard. Nana, it's, this Nana knows that. I don't like being that far. But I am so thankful that we're not like in the pioneer days and you move and never see them again. At least we can talk to them. We can. We've got airplanes. We've got cars. I bet, Leah. I've got to take my slow stitching. I brought it up because I knew it was bothering my husband. So I brought my, everything's up here right now. And my fabric and yarn is down there. But I know he would prefer it all to be up here. Except the fabric, he, he, that doesn't bother him at all. But I'd really like my slow stitching down there because that's where I do it. Yes. And Emerson is a master at FaceTime. Hi, Melody. How were those sweet baby girls and boys? That oldest girl is just Maya. Is that right? Is just a growing. Uh, yeah, Gail, I hear ya. I know that Melody's a babysitting. Melody and I were talking earlier about 
diamond painting. She does a lot of diamond painting. I was real proud of myself. I went to Walmart and didn't buy any. I didn't have that good a selection. And I'm really trying to use what I've got. Now, early I was showing my little haul from Dollar Tree, but that was stash I didn't have. That makes a difference, you know. I think these are turning out fun. Gonna untie this. Oh, wow. So you've only got Jensen. Of course, that's probably enough to wear you out. But at least you don't have quite as many. They do grow up fast. <clears throat> Way too fast. I was noticing that yesterday. Jackson had a little friend stay all night and they were up here and just, it was like two little old men talking. He, he's in a class of almost all boys and Emerson's in a class of all girls. And yeah, They just, he's playing football now. He's, won't be long and they'll be driving and doing their own thing. And I don't know that Nana's ready for that. Of course, the one you still got, Tartar. Boys are just so different. Oh, Gail. That's Emerson's age. That's seven, hard. She wants so bad. I can get some white. <coughs> Excuse me. She wants so badly to be older. Oh, yes, Leah. I envy that. That's such a sweet age. Does she have those chubby little legs? Mine, Andy never did. My grandkids really never did. I love those chubby little legs. Only on a baby. Mine aren't cute. Oh, seven months. That's when they really start growing fast because they're changing so much. Oh, did they, Gail? Aw. Next week, my sister may be on here with us. 
by the way. She had some with some cute chubby little legs. She's got some grandbabies that have had those cute chubby little legs too. Now, yeah, see that the, we can't get enough weight on Jackson. He's playing football and shoot. Some of those older boys are just pushing him down that hardly trying. But when you've got the ball and you're running with it and you've got a two ton fifth grader coming at you. They do have a weight limit, so, you know, there's really not a two-ton fifth grader, but. The he nor Emerson are big. But my grandpa at his heaviest was 150 pounds. I don't know that I'll ever see 150 pounds again. None of them are interested. You say sports and Jackson's there. Now, baseball, he's not a huge fan of. He's into um, football and basketball big time. And then he loves target shooting and trap shooting. And... Oh, Melody. She's a big girl. Oh, my. They had a band meeting not long ago. I don't know if Jackson's going to do band or not. Pro I can't see it. He's he's busy enough without picking up another extracurricular activity. So mom and dad may have vetoed that idea but he did really enjoy the recorder but Andy wanted to do band until I told him he would practice the instrument every day and he wouldn't have a study hall then he decided maybe he didn't need to be in band Huh, Gail, yeah. Well, Emerson was always unhappy after dance. Um, and they didn't know why until they found out she didn't like her hip hop teacher. Oh, Marty. <laughs> Now, Jackson, I mean, Andy was always fine with affection. And now in sixth grade, he if you went by, he'd squeeze my hand. And he got annoyed if I didn't acknowledge that by squeezing back. Now, I'm going to try this. I don't know how this laundry pen will work, but we're going to try it. Never bothered him. Awesome.
That's good that it didn't. That shows some great self-esteem. You did good there, Marty. You did very good. Oh, Gail. That is sweet. I am. I think it's important for boys to show affection. I think that makes some good spouses. Uh-huh. There it is. Yeah, now Andy does too. Now, not when he's in or out, but yeah, I, I really do. I think it, it makes a good spouse. I think they... And like the kids, you know, he shows a lot of affection to the grands and and Jackson's, you know, will always, you know, when we get here and leave, give us hugs and that kind of stuff. Now, Emerson won't. She's a hugger and she's affectionate, but not when we arrive. And not when we're leaving. Because she's ticked off. And when she's ticked off, she's not going to. Have anything to do with you. Because she's mad we're leaving. She's mad at me for leaving. And she considers it Papa's fault for taking me. Oh, Gail, she has so many personalities. But yes, she does. And she is so strong-willed. Yesterday, we were cleaning off her desk that's here beside me. She will throw nothing away. And... I said something. It was a torn piece of paper towel. And I said, Emerson, can we not throw that away? Nope. I might need it. I said, we have a whole roll of paper towels. Nope. Can't throw it away. Nanny, you know that. I don't throw things away. <sighs> she wants them in trays. So she can see them. And I swear she's going to be a lawyer. Oh, she is a true crafter. And she's got now, so her mom and dad can't throw things away. They're to bring it up here to Nana's house. Well, I don't need any more. And now her mama's a truth. Everything gets thrown away. Hi, Dana. Welcome. But even stuff that wasn't supposed to get thrown away gets thrown away. But, oh. And if you say it's black, she'll argue to her death and never give in. Last night, Nanny, you just don't understand what I'm saying. Yes, I do, Emerson, but you're wrong. That's what I told her. No, 
12, 3 plus 3 makes 6. You're right. And I said, it does. And she said, and 6 plus 6 makes 12. Yes, it does. So 6 plus 6 plus 3 equals 12. No. She said, if 3 sit in the front and 3 sit in the back, that's 12, right? I said, no, three in the front, three in the back makes six. So she'll even get me confused. And finally she said, Nana, you just don't know what I'm talking about. Said, I know what you're talking about. You're just wrong. And she said, now you're just being silly calling me wrong. No, I'm not calling you silly. I'm calling you wrong. I asked her, I said, do you argue with your teachers as much as you argue with everybody else? No, because they're always right. Well, I'm glad about that. <laughs> I know, Gail. <laughs> Oh, and there's times when Andy was helping her with her homework last year that I just don't get it, Dad. And finally, he'd say, I'm the adult. You're the child. That's the correct answer. Write it down. And he said, if you get it wrong, I'll take it well of course she didn't get it wrong and of course she said because she had forgotten by that time she knew she was right all along her dad should have listened to her <sighs> greg saw a meme that fit her perfect it says i don't have an attitude i just have a personality nobody can handle But helpful, I told her that I was having all this company. I said, Emerson, who's going to help me clean? Well, Nana, I'll just miss school and come help you. And if she was here, she would work her little, ooh, that doesn't have a center. She would work all day helping me. She'd clean out the cabinets and the whole bit. But um, teacher says math is in her strong point. Reading is. You got that right. I can't wait till she gets into story problems. Won't that be interesting? She'll be one of those that they, you know, Bobby ate 15 cantaloupes. And still has three. How many did he start with? And she's probably saying, who cares? He's got it. He's sick at his stomach or something. But yeah, she's. And like going to town to dance yesterday, good as gold. Until we got to talking about how many people sitting in the vehicle. I did a happy mail haul. I had a happy mail from Jasper yesterday. And she helped me do it. I haven't even edited it yet. Yeah, that was her. And she wanted to know what every word said. If she saw words, she wanted to read them. And loves to read now. I think these are turning out cute, but I think I like the safety pins better than my paper clips. 
I don't know. There's just something about them. Oh, yeah. Math I struggled with. Reading I struggled with. Um, and that was the thing I liked about teaching was I knew how the kids felt that were struggling because I was there. I went to special reading classes and um, I'm going to get a paper clip, but I don't know that I have. Oh, let's get rid of these. I don't know that I have any paper clips left to do. I, I may have decorated them all. There's one. I love books now. Yep. I had a speech teacher that taught me to read. He, um, I wasn't, I had hearing trouble. And because I had hearing trouble, I, um, didn't hear the letters R and S. So I just didn't use those two letters. And um, you can imagine what speech is like without the letters R and S. And um, so very early, I was going to speech. And I can remember he always took me out of spelling because he could use those words and help me with, you know, and I did miss class. And um, teach me my spelling. And it worked out great. Within a year, he had my reading go when I went to special reading too. But I credit all of what I am to Mr. Hillebranner. I really do. He was patient. <clears throat> Never had to take my spelling words home. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> but um, we'd work on our spelling. We worked on my reading with my spelling. He was way, I mean, you got to think, this was over 50 years ago. You know, he was way ahead of his time in things we did and I mom and he kept in close contact and there were things I would have to do at home to practice and um my little sister she also had those same speech problems but you know it didn't take any time at all for her to come over them. Well, welcome, Janet. Oh, no problem. You are right on time. We've been waiting here for your smiling face. I'm just slow stitching. But I forget which way to go on my paper clip, so I have to double check often. Good, Janet. We'll do it together. I think this one, I'm just going to slow stitch several rows. Thank you, Janet. They got some paint on them, but yeah, Emerson informed me that I need to wash my hands. I have washed them and washed them and washed them.
I will catch you all up on the produce. Tomatoes are still coming on strong, but it'll be good my, with friends coming and my sister. We can send some home with them. And um, still getting green peppers. I have baked three apple crisps, four, wait, one, two, three, four, five apple crisp, two apple pies, apple tarts, apple filling to go in the refrigerator, peach pie, muffin peach tarts, peach cobbler, and Greg wants to start on the pears. My brother-in-law has a peach tree, and his wife live in, what I don't know, significant other, has been sick and can't do anything with them, so I've made him apple crisp and stuff out of all of this, and um, so Greg went and picked some. The muffin um, peach tarts were the easiest, Janet. It is, but Greg did finish the last of the apple crisp. I put some of it is in the freezer for all the company coming. Um, with my sister here, we may spend one day doing more apples and then I'll let her take them home. The kids will eat apple tarts, I mean, apple crisp, but not real big on apple pie. I like making cobblers because they're easy. <laughs> My favorite cobblers are like the rectangle um, pies. You know what I mean? We had the crust on the bottom in a casserole dish and then you... But they're not the easiest to make. And right now, I'm doing the easiest because there's so much. I looked up how to make pear honey. And I looked up how to make um, apple butter. And neither one of those are the easiest to do. So, I'm hoping maybe my younger sister knows how to do that. Now, she quarters tomatoes, cores, and then quarters the tomatoes um, and freezes them that way. So, oh, me too, Gail. Um, so, I will have to try that when she's here. Um. Her mother-in-law and her were best of friends. And she did a lot of that kind of stuff. So I'm hoping Nancy can remember how her mother-in-law did it. Um, but right now we're out of eggs. So we're going to have to go over to the neighbors and get the eggs. We get fresh eggs. Oh, really, Janet? Well, you just pop right on over and we'll have tea and tarts. Peach pie is my very favorite. And I would do only that, but... Um, the peaches are small and my hands just get so tired slicing them. So that's why I do other stuff because my peach pies take a lot. And then what was left I put into a Tupperware container for on top of Greg's cereal or ice cream or whatever he wanted. You come on, Janet. 
you get the guest room next door to the craft room. That's why I told my sister, she said, Kathy, I'm just not sleeping. She says, I get up at like two or three in the morning and I go sew because I'm not bothering anybody there. And I said, well, your bedroom's next door. You just go right ahead and do that. She said, I know that'll be wonderful. You wake up and you hear the sewing machine going. I said, go right ahead. They're not. And I know that you can stick them in, um, you know, hot water and blanch them for a second and they'll peel off. But you still got to take the pits out. I do too, Marty. I like them fresh. But I like them this way too. There. That's, that's pretty cool. I like that one. Maybe because it's all fabric and no lace. That's right, Janet. So Greg will be the breakfast cooker, maker, baker, fixer, whatever. He likes a good breakfast every day. He'll fix you anything you want. He'll fix your eggs how you want them. Oh, wow. Are they small or do, can you get some pretty big ones, Janet? Yeah. That's not something I have. But those are good. <laughs> Was in Aldi's yesterday getting some groceries. And I really like their produce. And... <laughs> I bought grapes. It's like, here I am with all this fruit and I'm buying grapes. But sometimes you just need something different. What kind of fruits do you get cheaply over there, Janet? Like what is native to your area? Probably something we don't get over here. A friend of mine cans raspberry jam. Now, I had never heard of raspberry jam. And it's all the berries you can think of. Blackberries, blueberries, strawberries, and um, peaches. And you make a pie with it. Apple plums there. Okay. Marlene used to have a plum tree, but that some kind of disease, I think. God, she had a pear tree. She had, we had a full orchard here when Greg and I were younger. And she picked them and she canned them and she brought them to my house. <clears throat> I hadn't either, Gail. And I thought that was so cool. Um, to have Razzleberry. I just like the, I think I like saying the name more than anything. Yeah. Now, I had a great aunt that made a pear, no, great pie. Never got to taste it because she was in the middle of making it. But I have never imagined making that. Now, my um, sister-in-law had a great uh, grapevines. And my mother-in-law did too. But I don't recall them ever making great pie with them. 
Okay. Now, is a current like a berry? I'm assuming. See, Janet, you can make raspberry jam. Hi, Angela. We're talking about food. Imagine that. Welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Well, doggone it. Oh, so sorry. Has your mouth been bad? Got a bad tooth or what? Our birds get to our berries before we can. Oh, good, Angela. So glad to hear. We used to have wild blackberries down by the woods down home. And none of the kids liked them. And so I think Andy just turned them over to the deer and the birds. Greg never cared for him, so Andy would help me pick and sell him. He made pretty good money. Gallon bucket when he was little for eight bucks. He thought he was in heyday. I just didn't want him to go to waste. Oh, good. Oh, yes, asparagus. Now, we, some people grow it. I've never had it wild, I don't think. I would like to grow rhubarb. I need to tell Andy to get some of that started. He would without any trouble. He's our planner because we're not up here then. Oh, thank you so much, Janet. Hi, Sherry. Welcome, welcome. Stra yes, that's what I want is strawberry rhubarb. We've got the strawberry patch, but... Um, Marlene had asparagus until I, not knowing what it was, mowed it over. Okay, it's already posted. Good deal. We'll have to all go support you, Angela. Do we get to hear you try and talk with a numb mouth? Oh, we sound quite funny when my mouth is numb. Thank you. <laughs> That's what I figured. Let's try one of these purple ones that I made last time. Marty, just do something else. Well, maybe we won't because I don't really have much. Oh, here, that'll work. Hello, Carol. How are you today? 
I hope you're doing wonderful. Good morning, Sandy. I just love your channel. You come up with some cool beans. I'm just sitting here doing some paper clips and some safety pins. I ran out of safety paper clips. So now I'm doing paper clips. I've just started a box for my mermaid journal that I'm going to do maybe next summer. It may be after that, maybe in a couple of years, depending on what I find to go in it. And Emerson is quite excited about that. She then wants to do a unicorn journal. So I told her that we might be able to get that done. Um, but I got to finish the fairy journal first. I kind of got way late on it. I bought a storage box thing, you know, for your craft projects and um, I should have bought two. I wasn't thinking. Oh, what happened to my threads? You drank a pot of coffee already? I haven't finished my first cup yet. Sometimes I don't get that. Greg drinks it before I get up. I know, Janet. And now I need to start that sewing journal while Nancy's here. So... My advantage is that if I don't get it done, I can just leave it here and work on it next year. As Jazzy's sick, I'm sorry. My sister drinks it all day. Gail, that's what I go to. After I have my cup of coffee, I go to tea. If I want something hot. Or I try and drink my flavored water all day. I'm not good at just drinking water. My husband says that means I'm high maintenance. I'm just not a plain water drinker. I want something in it that tastes good. <laughs> you do that, would you, Sandy? I like my coffee. And like with my sister here, I'll drink more because she's here. But she can drink coffee all day long. And her kids are that way. They're all big coffee drinkers. And... Um, they learn very young how to make hers. And they think that's a big deal when they're big enough to make mom's coffee. Well... A 
color do I want? I don't see a turquoise. There's the little blue. That'll work. I've got buttons. I just don't have them handy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Greg got was looking for the directions to the air fryer the other night. And he puts it one place, I put it in a different. Well, he said, I am so glad you will never run out of tea. He said, there's enough tea for everybody. I said, well... That's important. He just kind of gave me a funny look. He's one of those. All he needs is, you know, little sweetener in his coffee. Drinks plain water the rest of the time. But I get tired of coffee. I mean, of water. I like texting. I'd rather text than call. My husband and son are the opposite. Oh, Carol, that's disappointing. I bought some tea in Jamaica and Greg brought me some home from Alaska. And both were fine. Um, the Jamaican was real strong. So I have to watch that I don't let it seat too long. And my problem when I'm up here is I have to go down stairs. And my legs don't always want to do that. Yeah, see, Gail, that's why I put flavoring in mine. Otherwise, and I find I drink more water than hot tea. Now, if it's, um, not organic, but if it's caffeine free, I don't know the word I'm wanting. Um, hot tea, it counts as a water. <laughs> Carol, that's something I do. I like strawberry watermelon water. And Emerson does too. They are decaffeinated. See, you guys make me feel so good when I do those kind of things. Yes, I want lots of ice. Look at all these I've already made so far. Just sitting here visiting with y'all. I've got all kinds of them made. I'm looking for all the paperclip ones. Oh, there's a paperclip. Oh, here's one. Oh, there's another paperclip. Well, I didn't run out of them. I had them hidden. Look at all these. 
Well, that one I didn't make today. We're not going to cheat. There's another paper clip. Oh, nope, that's a bobby pin. I mean, a safety pin. I want to put one of these cute little things on it. You know, I do too, Marty. I do too. Okay, now I'm showing those. Now I'm moving them so I have workspace again. We're going to use one of these. So let's get the right fabric going. This will be pretty. It's best if you start with fabric. Well, if we weren't goofy, sometimes people might think we were normal. I'd hate that. Thank you, Janet. Now, in England, they don't like their drinks real cold, do you? We all need a little goofiness. All need a little goofiness. I know, Angela. And I could do this all day. Sit and visit and make these. Or clusters. That's why I'm looking forward to my sister. She's bringing her sewing machine. And we're just going to. So she's already made. I think she said 15 little girl dresses. And her daughter-in-law. That she just got recently. It also says, but her daughter-in-law sews um, like costumes and that kind of stuff. And she sewed a little dress and Nancy said she used, had French seams. So you didn't even see her dresses. And she said, <laughs> she was putting Nancy to shame and Nancy puts me to shame. So I don't think I, I need to sew with Raylene, but, um, when Nancy's here, she's going, I keep thinking I'm going to quilt, and then I never do. But I've got quilt fabrics, and so she said she'll take some of them home and make me one. Um, I drank more coffee when I was working than I do here at home. Because I, you know, here at home, I don't want to make the pot and don't want that. It's too bulky. Um, not drink it. Now, when I was here by myself, when Greg went to Alaska, I made it and then I coffee died with what was left. Oh. Oh, because you're smart, Angela. It's going to go viral. That's why you did it. Hi, Jasper. I'm glad you're here. I'm really, really glad you're here. Oh, wow, Carol. I want to try his coffee. Jasper, I need to talk to you about that happy mail thing. I'll try and DM you today. I've got 
the stuff set aside so I can make an ATC card. You can't mute me. Why do you want to mute me? Oh, I said um, I'll DM you. A private message. You. Do I need to talk louder? Oh. Okay, thanks, Gail. Here's another fall one. These will be fun and happy mail. I did gather and get envelopes ready for Happy Mail yesterday when the two boys and Emerson were making uh, bracelets. And I said something about doing the Happy Mail. And Jackson's little friend wanted to know what a Happy Mail was. And Emerson said, that's when in you send people nice little things for no reason at all, but to make them smile in her big girl voice. You can tell she's got it down. Okay, Marty, I won't. <laughs> you do have a volume. It, it, didn't she just explain that perfect? I thought that little girl knows what she's talking about. Isn't that a good explanation? Your HS penis? That didn't even sound nice. Oh. What? Too much noise bothers your happiness? I guess, Gail, I mean, Janet, but boy, I just thought that was a perfect little explanation. She can, and she loves going with me to mail it. She just thinks that's awesome. But I've got about eight or ten ready to go. I just have to address them. And I was helping her pick up her desk. And you know how little kids are. It just overwhelms them. Oh, I know, Gail. Oh, highly sensitive personality. Oh, Marty, I am so glad to know you're very sensitive. That, that, that's good for me to know. Do you, Jasper? Some of them came from you. And I've got Emerson and I made the video. I just haven't had a chance to edit it yet. And it really needs edited because... I had several interruptions and stuff like that while I was doing it. But um, I 
I will try and get that done today. But I, I couldn't get my, you know how when little kids have a mess, that's what I was talking about. And they're just overwhelmed with the idea of picking it all up. It's kind of like when we have a filthy kitchen and don't know where to start. That's how Emerson was yesterday. Because I had piled some stuff. Um, oh, I love it, Jasper. Um, I had piled stuff on it. She had piled stuff on it. it. It just overwhelmed her. And so I told her I would help her. Of course, we had to save it all. But um, And then she spilt beads all over the floor. So needless to say, I did not get much of my stuff done. That's why I'm doing this video today. Not that anybody needs to know how to do this, but if you are new and are learning, I am so glad you're here because then I feel smart. But um, I need to now just address them and put them in the mail. I don't remember who sent me these. Oh, I know where I got them. I got them from Deb Farrell. But I, I knew if that was going to get cleaned up so Nancy could use it next week to sew on, M was going to have to have some help. And now it's nice and tidy except for the stuff I've just put on there. But when I do a live, it's nice to have that extra space. Thank you, Marty. I, um... I'm getting quite the collection now. And they're so easy to do. Oh, here's, see, look, they just keep breeding here on my desk. I found this. Isn't this pretty? Last Monday, I was doing a deep clean and moved more of the craft things that were on the bookshelf upstairs. What this fell out of, I don't know. But I just saw it last night, and I thought, wouldn't that be pretty on something slow-stitched? I'm going to have to come up with something to do that. But I do have to take my stuff down so that I can slow-stitch downstairs. And I've got counter space. Greg started going through photo albums of his mom down there, but I can still take some slow stitching down there because I'm finding I don't slow stitch because all my stuff's up here and I want to slow stitch when I'm hurting the most. I know you love fussy cutting. Look at this. Where's that darling little card? She sent me, no, I put it someplace so I could use it. And where now I don't know what I did with it. It's right here somewhere. But it's adorable. But she fussy cut out fabric I sent to her. And, um... Oh, I know where I put it, and I can't get to it right now. Yes, it would. I need, and I need to get it organized. There you go, Marty. That's what you need to do. Oh, good thing, Carol.
Jasper, I always, if I have fabric that needs fussy, that I know she can fussy cut, I always am sending her some. And I've got some more that I can send her. Oh, a yo-yo quilt. So you're piecing them, Gail. I've got a lot of little pieces I want to sew together. Well, that's a good quote. Let me write that down. Here, I'll write it on this and then transport it. Oh, I did. I love that quote. And that's what I'm going to do. I've got fussy cut stuff ready that you sent me and a little bit of my own. And then I'm going to send it and then I'm going to let them know that the stuff I used was from you. Oh, here it is. Here it is. It wasn't where I thought it was. Isn't this cute? This was on the fabric I sent to Jasper. And Jasper, I have more fabric. I don't think I have sent to you. You must have the best scissors. Marty's not very good at sending out happy mail, but she loves getting it. And that's okay. I think it's an excellent idea. Well, let me make a note. I think I'm not positive, but I'm thinking that fabric is in Florida. But I don't fussy cut it first. That's you gotta send it to Jasper if you want to cuss, cussy fest. You enjoy yours too, Gail, and give your dad hugs from all of us. He's in my prayers. You be careful out there. It's dangerous. I did learn that seven o'clock at night, I mean, five o'clock at night is not a bad time in Keokuk, Iowa to get groceries on a Monday anyway. I'm going to make a real simple one. I need to iron this. I keep grabbing it. I think it's the neatest yarn, but it needs pressed. Jasper, 
Jasper sent me this. I love all of it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Wow, Carol. Well, the longest I know is happy mail I sent to Janet. I sent it in one fall and she didn't get it till almost, well, she didn't get it until summer of the next year. Sent it last year in about October. And it ended up coming back here, got lost in Canada. They sent it back here. And, um, so then I had to send it again, and then it took a little while. That was funny. But I was worried about it. Now, some time ago, when I sent Flo an easel, and I don't think that package ever got there. So, Janet, I do send you happy mail. I was going to do this simple, wasn't I? Yes, that was quite the journey. I bet you guys see where I lay my needle over and over and lose it. That one had, yeah, hadn't arrived. And that's probably been over a year. So, someday, or it's just sitting in um, Canada somewhere. Oh, the post office even double-checked the address. They, they resent it for free. They didn't even charge me for sending it. She goes, that is the craziest thing she'd ever heard of. Well, now that could be. We might need to talk to one of Julia's fairies. Jasper, I could, but I haven't kept the tracking stuff that long. And I have no idea the dates or anything. So, I'm not worried about it. I just hope somebody got it that can use it. That's what I hope. They are. Emerson asked me yesterday, and I wasn't really, she goes, now, Nana's, Nana, do fairies sleep at, uh, during the day and just fly around at night because nobody sees them? She said, they stay hidden so well, I can't imagine nobody seeing them during the daytime. I thought that was a cute little question. And I just said, you know what? They must. I wasn't going to try and act like I even knew her answer. She hides her fairies so that nobody can see them. She's sharp and she's quick. I can't keep up. My brain's too old for it.
Dee, yeah, she is. She thinks about stuff. And then when she comes up with it, Andy was that way when he was little, too. Oh, there's another one I forgot I had done. Um, out of the blue one time, he asked when daddy and when he goes, when daddy and you get divorced, where am I going to live? I said, well, your daddy and I aren't getting divorced, but I guess wherever you want to. He's about fourth grade and his best friend had gotten into the middle of a custody battle with his folks. And so that was weighing heavy on Andy's mind. And, but out of the blue, it was like, and so I thought, isn't that pretty? I think that needs to be on something. And I thought I had answered it very, you know, well. And his dad came home and he met him at the top of the steps and asked him the same question. And his dad kind of had the same answer. I'm going to sew this first, see what we can do with it. But, you know, he. And I told him, I said, well, no, his dad, he said, what makes you think we're getting divorced? And he said, well, the boys at lunch today said all mom and dad do. Well, two or three of them had just gone through it. You know how kids are. Thank you, Janet. I thought this would be pretty hanging from my. safety pin speaking of his daddies they're out there talking about something dealing with the goats i'm sure but you know at lunch you don't know what those kids because i was um teaching them and now, I wasn't on duty, or he'd have just come and ask me then. You know, Janet, it might be. But it is pretty. It was given to me, or in a bag of something I got. I'm not going to embroider anything on it because it's too pretty the way it is for me to mess it up. They do. That is so true, Jasper. I always send home notes and said, if your child is having a bad day, please let me know. Because we all have bad days. And I try, you know, and I, you know, if they got removed from home or something like that. Okay, I need something longer. Don't like it on that. But I may just hang it on something. Bye-bye, Marty. You have a wonderful day. Thank you for being here. I do appreciate it. But yes, kids worry about a lot of things. Um, one little girl came in crying. And she'd gotten removed from her home. And she was at her aunt's. So, you know, it wasn't like she was put into foster care with somebody she didn't know. But she was worried about if she was ever going to see mommy again. Well, why wouldn't she be worried about that? You know, that's a perfectly normal fear. And she did. She, Mom and dad had just had a big fight. It wasn't 
near as bad as she had thought it was going to be. And I was so thankful about that. So anyway, I think I'm going to put that on there. I haven't done any little flowers. And we're just going to tack it at the end. Some of these I may do more embroidery in later when I'm getting ready to put them in a happy mail or on, on a journal or something. Um, you know how you look at something and decide it needs more. But I hate to do too much at one time and then want to use it and not have what I need on it. So I um That's why I'm using the pink cuz it's already on my needle. I know I do. I can put them in my drawer and use them. And I needed some. I didn't have hardly any. I'm concentrating on it. I can't talk and concentrate. That's why I say weird things. There we go. Yes, they are handy. And I can just put those on a little page and I can even uh, page without fabric. You know, I can take this and just pin it. to a page and I think that looks really cute so I have that one made and this one and these I really like that one for fall and I have whimsical and I have fall I have spring, I have um, more rustic ones, all kinds of them just ready to stick on a page. And these paper clip ones, I can do this. And nobody says I can't do more than one. Not on the same page, probably. But. Well, uh, thank you, Jasper. Thank you, all of you. And I do appreciate you all being here. I am going to let you go. I know you've got plenty of things you need to do. I've got plenty of things I need to do, but I'm not peeling anything, but maybe potatoes tonight. So I hope you have a wonderful day. If you're a replayer, thank you for stopping in. If you're not subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe. Thanks, Angela. 
And if you like this video, I hope you'll do a thumbs up. And always feel free to contact me. If you ever need anything like scrap fabric, ribbons, whatever, if I have it, you're welcome to it. Thank you all. Yes, get well, Jassy. Bye-bye, and remember, you have a purpose.